for more on the extreme weather throughout the United States, I spoke with Shell Winkley. Shell's a weather and climate engagement specialist at Climate Central. And he began by talking about why this hurricane season is more alarming than the recent ones. It's summertime. It's supposed to be hot. This is the peak of the heat, usually for much of the United States. But specifically, yes, in Texas, but specifically right now, what you're seeing with the record shattering day after day heat in the western U.S. and then also on the eastern side of the U.S., we have these heat waves. We have these intense areas of high pressure that are setting records, and not just for a couple of days. This is extended. California is going through two to three weeks of these excessively and extremely hot temperatures. So here at Climate Central, we have uh, attribution science called the Climate Shift Index. Mm -hmm. What it can do is let us know what is just heat and then what is the human-caused aspect of oh. how extreme that heat is. And what we know, especially out west, Las Vegas, California, portions of Colorado, Arizona, this heat is made at least five times more likely, meaning that in a world without human-induced climate change, you likely would not see the temperatures that are being experienced, particularly in the western U.S., as they have been since uh, last week for the holiday week. And that's pretty grim when you couple into that the fact that it seems like there's no way that the, globally we're going to meet the goals of the Paris Accord in terms of trying to control uh, gr greenhouse gases uh, since uh, the industrial age. So obviously a great deal of concern moving forward. And extreme heat conditions, think about all those uh, if, uh, utility workers that are going to be out there now trying to restore power in Texas and they have to wear safety equipment and it just seems like it is a metaphor for misery. Right, so you talk about the folks that are working outside here in Texas. You've got firefighters in California that also have all that gear on as they're fighting the wildfires. And what we see in this warming climate, these warmer summers, those outdoor workers are some of the most exposed. They're the ones that have to be out in the elements while the rest of us maybe do have the luxury of being inside in air conditioning. And when you have these dangerously hot temperatures during the day, you have the overnight warmth that's the same, your body just, it can't recover. Yeah. And that's where you can really find those heat illnesses, especially for this particular group. I mean, you're simply dragging the next day after going through something like that. So we've talked about climate change and how it is affecting affecting the United States and uh, virtually everywhere. How to address climate change when it comes to these recurring disasters? Because this is not going to be the last counterclockwise storm to blow across the, the Atlantic and slam into this, the, this area. Right, exactly. Uh, and there's, you know, a lot of talk about this hurricane season, especially a new forecast came out today from Colorado State, which actually increased the number of expected hurricanes and tropical systems. And they said they use the analog of the 2005 season, the 2020 season, which we know both of those were historic seasons as well. Um, but it kind of gives you that idea that right. we are living with the climate. We've been burning at that extra coal or our carbon pollution, the coal the oils, the natural gas, and we're adding this wool blanket over the earth that's trapping in all this heat. And it happens all year round, but you really notice it in the summertime right. because, again, that's when the peak of the heat is, and that's when you turn natural disasters like hurricanes into unnatural disasters like we saw with Hurricane Barrel. Yeah, they're becoming more frequent, too. We only have about 45 seconds left, Shell, but talk to us about what we're going to see the rest of the summer here in the United States. Right. So the outlook from the Climate Prediction Center and uh, from NOAA is warmer than average temperatures, which we've been on this streak. We just hit the point where we have now seen a year of record-breaking temperatures. We're coming down off of El Nino, so that added a little bit of that warmth. But again, the attribution is there to know that these warmer temperatures that we're experiencing in summer, that's going to delay the onset of fall for some of us, is because of that added pollution in the atmosphere and because of climate change.